Hello Internet Citizens, Saksham here from Flipbell IT Studio and let's get started with another lecture. So let's see what we have here in our to-do list is Kali Linux. Yes, we need to install Kali Linux, a machine that works like a charm for hackers and pen testers. So we are going to install this machine into the virtual box. So let's have a look at what is written into the notes. Stop blaming, keep patience, concentrate and let's do it. So now at times screen will go like totally not working or something like blank but you need not to lose your hopes and patience. You need to concentrate here and everything is going to work just fine. So what you need to do is that you need to hit on new and then let's give it a name. So let's say Kali because we are installing Kali in here and let's give it a Linux. Now earlier they were using Ubuntu but now they have shifted to Debian and now you know the mathematics of 32 and 64 bits. Now they have shifted to Debian because there were a lot of incompatibility issues into the wireless pen testing and all that stuff. So believe me it's really a great choice and let's hit on continue. Now let's see how it works. The recommended memory size is 1024 MB RAM but if you wish to opt a better and smooth way then I would re recommend you to increase it a little bit. Okay let's say 1800 and let's hit on continue. Now you cannot use an existing virtual hard disk file because you are not installing it from any USB or something like that. And of course we are not going to go for do not add any virtual disk. We have a virtual disk into our virtual box manager. So we are going to go with this option. Create a virtual hard disk now. Create VDI virtual box disk image. Of course we have downloaded here as which is saying Kali Linux. So let's hit on continue with the first option. Now never go for fixed size, go for dynamically allocated because if we will install any software later on it will not let us to do that because it has a fixed size but dynamically will get auto adjusted according to the needs and something like that. So let's hit on continue. Now let's say Kali will take only 1 or 2 GB of your size but let's increase it a little bit so it cannot get suffocated with the performance and something like that. So let's hit on create. Now your Kali framework is right here in front of you. Let's start it and it will show us an error which is the best way to install a image or you can say. So let's hit over here. Now we are going to select the image that we have downloaded the ISO image of Kali Linux. Let's hit on open. Let's hit on start and now it will start installing your Kali Linux. Now it's not yet done, it's still you're going to choose here as graphical install because that is going to be the best way for our new users and that is the most easiest way trust me. So let's hit on graphical install. Okay let me just remove this warnings. Okay now it's mounting my image. Let me just resize it a bit. Okay, now it's showing that my primary language is English, of course. United States. Keyboard for American English. Continue. And it's now loading the additional components. Okay, now it wish to get us a host name, let's say Kali. Hit on continue. Now domain name if you are working for any institutions pen testing or any companies pen testing then you need to get a domain name of that company. But I don't have any right now as it is for educational purpose so I'll hit on continue. Now let's set a password. The easiest one is going to be T double O R two just alternative of root you can say. Now notice it is just asking of root password. So our username is going to be root. How do I know that? Just because of experience. So you have a plus one for taking this course. So let's go for Eastern time zone or where, wherever you're sitting in this world. And now it is asking for partition and disk. Okay, now it will use the entire disk for the best performance. Let's, let's hit on 
continue with default options all files in one partition of course one partition and it is also recommended for new users so let's go for it and let's hit on continue write the changes to disk of course yes i have done it and i'm responsible for it <laughs> all right now it's installing the system it will take a while and now i would recommend you to grab a coffee or something i personally love the espresso shots okay so you need to keep a little bit of patience and more than a patience like a superman used to keep on our earth and saving the earth or whatever Well, after a successful installation, you will see something which says use a network mirror. Well, this is a platform where you can download the applications, other applications like browser or something like that. So I'll go for yes. Hit on continue. Now, if you're working in any other proxy or, or this is something which the black hat hackers use. So then you can do this, but I wouldn't recommend you to do this. It will interrupt your original ip address so let's head on continue and once again it will start configuring the package managers and the apt files so now it is configuring the package managers now for some seconds of time it will look like nothing is happening on the screen and it's stuck here but this is not happening it's normal you need to keep patience and things will be all right within few seconds of time. Now, as you can see that it's installing the grub bootloader. Grub bootloader are the files that appears while starting of your operating system. So it will help you in starting the operating system like boot files and something like that. So keep on installing and things will be great soon okay so now it has successfully installed the grub bootloader files and uh, install the grub bootloaders to the master boot card yes and the installation will begin once again after saying yes now you have to be very careful at this step you need not to choose the enter device manually because we are not manually installing it with any usb or something like that it is going to be installed into the virtual hard disk into our vbox you can say so it will be here dave sda and you need to choose the second option here so let's hit on continue and it's installing our grub bootloader once again okay now here it says that installation is now completed let's hit on continue and let it just give it the final tweaks of installation. Okay, so now you can see that my virtual box is now loading up my operating system and you need to go for Kali GNU Linux and it will load up my operating system. Okay, now there will be a black screen for some moment of time. But again, you need to stay patient. Okay, now it's asking for my username. As I've told you, username is going to be root. Hit on next and password is going to be tour. Sign in. Oh, sorry, that didn't work. Might be I've misspelled the password. Let's try once again, tour. Well, that was a nasty mistake. Okay, now it's good to go, I guess. Congratulations. Now, finally, the operating system is front of you. Now, we will explore it more into the next lecture that what is terminal, how we can use that. Now, don't be scared with the terminal. We are going to start everything from scratch. So, thank you so much for watching. And let's get started with some other stuffs as well from the next chapter.